How do you do it? Well, I, I, I practice a lot of mindfulness. Um, so, you know, meditation, you know, journaling, talking with my team, with my parents, with my wife, with, with everybody who is around me, trying to address certain, um, with my, of course, uh, life coaches that I have, um, spiritual guides and that I have as well that help me um, address certain emotional you know, uh, issues or traumas or whatever it is that, that, that uh, tend to appear on the court. So when it appears on a break point, when I'm facing a match point or break point or, you know, clutch moments, uh, they do tend to surface, but they are, they, uh, I, I, ma I manage to, to, to gain the control over them much quicker. And I manage to, to impose my positive affirmation and positive feeling uh, or if that doesn't happen, then I just try to be uh, conscious that I have to accept that moment that that's going to happen, but I focus on my breathing and I focus on being in the moment and, and what needs to be done next moment, which is playing the right shot, positioning myself well on the court and just focusing on executing the point right. It just takes uh, years of uh, devoted practice mentally, not just physically. Uh, and you have to do it. You can't expect others to really um, fix your emotional or mental issues. They can um, encourage you and they can empower you um, and they can understand you and they can give you tools, but you have to use those tools and do it the right way. Just pause there for a second to reiterate this whole point of Really, it is up to us, right? This channel is called Starts With Me. That's exactly what he's talking about right there. Doesn't mean, as he clearly described, we can't do these things alone. We can't change alone. We need help. We need guidance. We need teachers. We need coaches, as he clearly described. And at the same time, there is a responsibility on us to do the things, to practice. As he said, it takes years of practice, so it takes time and that's contrary to our impulsive desires for quick fixes and to make the pain go away and to all of a sudden become something that we're not. And that clearly, not to get lost in it, but is reflected in common discourses throughout the world right now around other people need to change so I can feel better. And that's just not how it works. He's, Mike, you just touched on this. He's making such an interesting point about the relationship between sort of like the social determinants of one's mental health and the individual determinants of one's mental health. So mm -hmm. on one hand, he has a huge team. What did he mention? Um, right. He life coaches, spiritual guides, a, a dedicated tennis coach, physiotherapists, a wife, right. friends. He's got a ton of people that he, he goes to that he relies on. Um, but at the same time, he's making the important. So, you know, on one hand, the, the, one of the strongest, most, you know, physically strong, emotionally strong individuals in the world relies deeply on other people. So sometimes I hear with, you know, friends and colleagues, they say like, oh, I'm, you know, going to a therapist is a sign of weakness. I need to be more self-reliant mm. when that's probably not, that's probably not true, right? I think the strongest people know that they need to rely on and go to other people for, for guidance. Um, but that needs to be balanced out with, like you said, individual commitment to doing what you need to do each day. Uh, to move forward, whether it's more mindfulness, more practice, more discipline in, in X, Y, and Z, whatever is going to get you to where you need to go. So the combination of the two, individual mm -hmm. discipline and deep social connections to those who can provide you with a really meaningful wisdom on how to live. That's a I think that's very powerful. Beautiful. So Beautiful. you're not in this alone. You can't, you can't do this alone. Yeah, correct. Right. And you have to do a lot on, on your own, yes. but you can't do it. How would yeah, you frame yeah, that? Yeah. I, yeah. We can't do, I think you said it well, we can't do it alone. We need other people. And at the same time, it's our responsibility to do the things that we know we need to do to get there. And you, I think you said it really nicely there. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.